This is a story about a guy named Mel. He's a lot like you and me, except he lives in a place called Hollywood, which isn't even really there. He's married, but he fools around a lot. And he's got an incompetent nephew who makes him crazy a lot. And a psychiatrist who's trying to make him sane, but that isn't really happening a lot. He's got a soon-to-be ex-wife who'd like to see him dead, and that might actually happen. He runs a movie studio called Hopeless. His life is a mess, and you should be glad you're not him. There were promises made across this conveyor belt. I put 34 years in at Bloomies, and now, whoa, and now I can't pay my insurance. Y you can't eat the orange and throw away the peel. A woman is not... A woman is not a piece of fruit, although right now I'm looking pretty unappealing. <laughs> Biff! Wow, that was moving. <laughs> funny, sure, but moving all the time. Oh, thanks. I was going for moving and funny and, you know, moving. Well, you hit it out of the ballpark. <laughs> well, I, yeah. I really appreciate your help in, in landing this role, okay. Mel. I mean... You're a natural, really. Thanks. And the monkey was so well cast, uh -huh. yeah. too. You know, he's just, you know, nothing rattles him. He's... You need a little help? Oh, you, 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 oh you sure, yeah. <laughs> I think um, you're going to say they're going to Well, go. I just have to change clothes, yeah. you know, back in my in my trailer. Oh. So... Yeah, well, you know, let, let me let me walk you back there anyway. Okay. I, oh, did, you, did you get the Charleston Chews I sent you? Those were from you? Yeah, yeah. Well, they were delicious. We have a deal with them. Product placement sort of thing. I'm sorry. No, i got to take this one. Hello? Mel, it's Ira. Hi, Ira. Uh, bad news and worse uh, news. Okay. She's not going to sign the quit claim deed, oh. which means you got no cash, my friend. I was hoping to do a refi and get some cash. We can't do that because, oh, that's great. That's yep. great. I'll be and living in a, in a, a little league dugout in 10 minutes. But also, uh, she wants custody of the frozen embryos. Uh, She's called child services of all people. Why? What? She's saying that somehow you're responsible for creating a hostile environment for her children. What? She claims that they are being abused, that she's not able to keep them They're at the right frozen. temperature. They're frozen. How can, how can anyone's hostility melt frozen eggs? I don't understand this. You know what? You know what? I got the solution, Ira. What's that? Let her have them. If she wants to hatch them one by one, I'll send them all to Harvard. Uh, I got to go, buddy. I love you, though. I love you, too. No, it's yeah, nice. It's yeah. very nice. Um, I'm, oh, not, I'm, I'm just not bothering gonna, you, am I? Uh, oh, no, I'm just, just going to slip out of this. Oh, okay. And, yeah, you know, could I you just, kind of over here? Oh, you need a little help with the, with the zipper? Yeah. What is it? Is that like a it's, hook? Um, yeah. God, you smell good. What is that? Oh, it's, it's those oils I use. It's it's a combination of... Do you ever use Paul Newman's salad dressing? Yeah. A lot of the same herbs. Uh, yeah. But I could put some on you. And <gasps> could you? Yeah, I could... I'm a licensed masseuse as well, and yeah. you know, mm. it doesn't just affect your nose, it mm. raises your energy, Wait, and what? essential oils, they raise your energy, and uh -huh. they bring about an uplifted... Sex, sex, sex. Sex. And he's yeah. not very good he's, at it either. No. To, Who is she? She certainly is well, a hard knows. worker. Um. Oh. <laughs> Did you want, um... Wow. I'm you know, sorry. I, you know, I don't what, know what, uh, if you want to just, just lie down, I, and I could. Uh, hmm. You want a Charleston chew? No, or? I just don't want to. Let's not uh, talk for a minute, okay? Let me just concentrate on not thinking. Right. Because that can, that often. Uh, I'll do that too. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hi, baby. W uh, what uh, What are Mom, you doing? Mom, not now. I mean, <clears throat> I'm 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 not now uh, well, ready to be oiled. Yeah. Okay. The, um, I could kind of um, be motherly. Or... No, 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 no. No, I don't mind. That's not that. No. no I mean, I've actually no, done that even, for people. Putting but... me even worse, worse shape. Than, well, son. Uh, and, um, no, don't, don't. I, uh, um, I think you're grounded. No, 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 no. And I don't, don't, don't do that. Elise, Elise. Go to your room. Uh, and Elise, lie down, Elise. And you're I'll misunderstanding be up in a here. Minute. You're misunderstanding. I don't um, need that. I'm just. I'm a little confused right now. It's not a. It's like a breastfeeding. No, I, you know what? I really. I gotta go. I got a thousand things I gotta do. Oh, but we didn't. You, I mean... No, no, no. We, yeah. Okay, so... <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> um, uh, bye. So, Tracy, I'm just going to say some words. And if they make this experience more exciting for you, then good. If mm. they don't, tell me no, but... Uh, vagina? Mm, oh. Penis? Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Bosoms? Oh. Oh. Uh... 
buttocks. Oh yeah. Mm. Um. Oh. Hit me where it, hit me oh, where it hurts. Oh, you hit me. All right, I'm going. I'm going for it. All right. Okay, this 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 could be the big one. This oh. this could really be. Mm. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, we have liftoff. Oh my. Oh. Ah. She's not going to hatch any of these kids, and I'll yep. tell you why. Because that would interfere with her sitting on her ass and watching old. Uh, Gloria Swanson movies. It's total blackmail. She'll probably give you a million reasons about how it's life and it's unborn and all this shit. The fact is, mm. they're gonna need rooms. If I hatch these guys, they're gonna need a place to sleep. They'll need nannies and school and camp and outfits and, and inoculations and, and haircuts and all this stuff. She sees this looking at a little ice cube tray full of uh, little cash cows. I mean, she's insane. She's insane. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And. Ah! Ah! Whoopee! Oh! Ah! My God! Oh! Mama! Oh! Mama Sita! Oh my God! Oh! oh. Wow! Can you do me a favor just for one Wait, second? Wait, hold on a second. I'm just. Okay. I've got okay. ideas coming out of my okay. head right now. I've got a modern day Dr. Shivago with SpongeBob. Mm. Mm. That sounds, doesn't sound so crazy when you say it. Oh my God, what about a film based on the book, Everybody Poops? If we could get Jim Carrey for that, it would be fantastic. I think these are uh, mm. unusually strong ideas. Oh. I don't really pretend to no. know your business. No one's ever done a drama about vegetables. No, you know what, you're... No, and how, or what about us skipping Miss Congeniality 3 and going straight to 4? I mean, you did terrific work today, and I think that it's important for you to know that... Oops, can you hang on one second? Tracy, I'm sorry. Mm. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ooh. Oh, well, that's a do-over. Yeah, well, we'll we'll call that a mulligan. Okay. It's a mulligan. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let me tee this. There we go. Okay. Uh, that one's gone. Yeah, yeah, you're going to need a, a need a low jack to find that one. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, let's call that one a do-over. Yeah, fair's fair. Sure. Yeah. Just go ahead, take a mulligan. Yeah. You're out of golf balls, Mr. Futterman. What are you talking about? How's that possible? I had a hundred this morning. Well, here, here, take my balls. Thank you, Wax. Okay, your turn. You want to be smart. You want to be employed. Take a dive. Lose the game. He hates your guts. Beat the shit out of him. Rub his nose in it. I don't know what's wrong with my game today. Gah, pussy. Another thing she's saying, and it's just background noise as far as I'm concerned, but she's saying that you were, you're were, you sterile from excessive cell phone use. Is there no, any truth no, to this? No, You know what? The doctor who did the test, he said my sperm count was low. This was when everybody was going nuts, and everyone thought that phone, cell phones were going to kill you. It can only kill you if you try and talk and drive in Beverly Hills. We know that. Where are you keeping the phone, Mel? <laughs> That's what I said. I don't put the phone in my pants I to talk. Imagine. I hey, hold it up to my head. Hearing you know. trouble, I understand. <laughs> Nasal. Okay. Let me just put you on hold for a second. Okay. I would like to especially recommend a tiny blue-winged duck that we have. Mm -hmm. The duck has been raised in captivity, where its movements have been severely restricted, hmm. um, so it cannot move, but the breast continues to grow in the special techniques that they have developed. Hmm. In, um, I, you know, I'm going to have to answer this because I sent my assistant Steve home. Uh, he's, he and his partner are adopting a, a Chinese child. Hello? Hello, this is Mr. Kirkman from WPS Collections, and I need to speak with Hi. Mr. Wax. Hi, Julia. No, this is Mr. One Kirkman. One second. I, I got to take this call. This is, uh, well, it's an actress, a friend. Uh, oh, just give me one second, okay. Julia. Uh, this is Mr. How Mr. Are Kirkman. are you, baby? Uh, is this Mel Wax? Uh, sweetheart, how are you? Mr. Wax, can you hear me? Uh-huh. Okay, uh, I'm calling in reference to your uh... late payments on your BMW. Oh my God! You know, it's just—it seems like a couple of years ago that you were too young to be having babies, and here you are. Just what? It, they're like little clowns, aren't they? Yeah. She says her boobs are enormous. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Wax. Uh, hey, yeah. You know we own the title oh. to your vehicle. <laughs> and have I have the right to repossess it after a 90-day default. And you so are on cute. date. That's very early for them to be doing It's that. going to be turned over to outside collections uh -oh, if we do not receive great. the minimum payment. Are you kidding? 
I would love to come to dinner. Mr. Wax, we can trace the car what, the through its tracking system and find it, and yeah. we will repossess it. Well, let's do that. I, I might be a little late. You start cocktails without me. Yeah, I'll be there. All I need is a payment promise to keep this All from right, I love you, too. Bye, honey. Mr. I was Julia Roberts. <laughs> you know, I, I never really liked you, Wax. Please, Leo, it's been such a nice day. You're a we desperate, a weak man. Why don't we order? You're an ass kisser, Max. You're saying I'm an ass kisser. A uh, real brown nose. Now, that's where I'd have to say you, you'd you almost be crossing you the line. You suck up to me all the time. The golf game, you lost that on purpose. I, I, why would I want to be out You now? think I play golf without checking out my opponent? Melvin R. Wax, age 45, member of West Winds Country Club, handicapped one, cheats at tennis. See? See? <sighs> See? See? You kiss my ass every chance you get. Now, look here, Futterman. Frankly, I like it. You do. You're a toady, but you're good at it. Well, thank you, Leo. Gentlemen, um, today we have a frise salad with the crispy, crispy patat. Uh, later. Also the tart flambe with onion. Later. Later, I said. Uh, and you were saying? Uh, you just may be the best fucking toady in the world now. Oh. <laughs> Look at me. I'm getting all choked up. Thank you, Leo. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. You, uh... You named the studio after your parents. Yeah. You you must have loved them very much. Guilty as charged. You know, Mel, family is the most important thing in the world. Yeah. Next to money. Right. Yeah, right. Take take me for example. Uh -huh. Married to the same girl for forty five years. Ah. We met in high school. She looks like a child here. Oh, she's very youthful. No, I mean like six or seven. Idiot. That's my granddaughter. I'm sorry. Oh, whoa. She's beautiful. Oh, she still looks pretty good in a bikini at 66, huh? You know, I gotta admit, I'm I'm surprised. Nothing prepared me for this side of you. You know, underneath it all, we're just like any other American with Heartland values. Love of family, love of country, love of money. I couldn't have said it better. I'm extending your contract a year, Mel. What? You heard me. I That's why I asked you here, to tell you that. I thought you came to L.A. to fire me. I did. Oh. Then, the lawyers told me about your golden parachute. It would have cost me way too much to fire you. See, this way, I renew you for one last year. It's a new contract, no golden parachute. I can kick your ass up and down Hollywood Boulevard whenever I want. It won't cost me a penny. Well, that's, that's just brilliant. Diabolical, but brilliant. So what do you say? Is it a deal? Well... Sounds great to me, but I, you know, I have to run it by my no, lawyer. No, 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 lawyers. Or, or, no lawyers. Or not, or not. No. Regarding a salary increase. No, no, sorry, mm -hmm. Mel. It's a take it or leave it deal. What do you say? Well, hey, no two ways about it. I love my job. I love my studio. My studio. Our studio. Wow, what the hell? I'm honored. To be renewed before the end of your contract, that's an honor. Or at least the mention in Archard's column. It's a deal. <laughs> well, what's funny? What's, what's funny? It's, uh, yeah. I knew you'd say that. It's a deal. <laughs> it's a deal. <laughs> I make you laugh. What's the date, Mel? Uh -huh. What's the date? Uh, today's the, I, I March 30. No, no, no. April 1st. April 1st. Right? Right? Yeah, April yeah. 1st? Yeah. April Fool's Day! <laughs> April Fool <laughs> Happy April Fool's Day! You're fired! <laughs> You're kidding me, right? Now, now is the, 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 the joke. You're kidding me now, right? You uh, son of a bitch! <laughs> hey, hey, what the hell are you doing? Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. What's the matter with you? You never seen a penis before? Oh! Well, it's over. The other shoe has dropped, Dr. Stein. He's fired me. He's canned my ass. Mm -hmm. And you know the worst part? When I saw his his thing, you know, in the in the steam room. It was it was awful. I never saw anything like that in my life. I swear to God, it was the size of a Louisville slugger. I mean, are you thinking of it as a penis, Mel? Yeah. Because you're really dis you're describing a, a primal moment. Did I say Louisville slugger? I meant redwood tree. It was like a fucking redwood. Why don't, why don't you take a Valium? No, I took one. Take another. I took three. I lost my job. I have no money, and now I'll never be able to get an erection again as long as I live. I know it. I'm going to be with a woman, and all I'll be able to think about is Futterman's dick. Damn it. Futterman? Wax, what, what, what are you doing here? I live here. Forever, probably, now that I don't have a job. What about you? This isn't exactly billionaire's row. Uh, there, there, was a, there was a fire at the Beverly Hills Hotel, so they, they moved me here. Really? A fire? It wasn't on the news. 
It was a private fire. Well, they're very discreet at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Honey? Oh. 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 Mel, Wax, this is, uh, uh... Elise Puccinello? Thank you. <laughs> Elise is an old friend of mine. I cast her in Death of a Saleswoman. She's got a big career ahead of her. Funny. Leo said the same thing. I'll bet he did, yeah. Okay, Wax, what do you want? To keep this quiet? My job back. Done. To keep it very quiet, a 10-year contract escalating a half million every year. Done. Starting after my divorce so I don't have to split it with my wife. Done. To keep it super quiet, the studio buys me a house, picks up the mortgage. Whoa, whoa, this is blackmail. No, have it your way. Whoa, 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 oh, wait, Mr. Wait, 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 Archer. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. Done, done, done. To keep it Helen Keller quiet, you give me 5% of your holdings in the studio, which makes me the majority shareholder hey, again. Hey, hey, don't press your luck. Have it your way. Fuck you. Tell my wife. I don't care. All right, oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I was kidding about the last part. I'm kidding. I gotta get out of this. Yeah, well, I can, I can take care of that. Where are you going? Business emergency. We were just getting started. Uh, I'll take a rain check. Call me sometime. Better yet, I'll call you. <sighs> you okay? Did you know he owns the factory that makes tent packs? I had no idea. No. And the one that makes canned pineapple, too. Ooh, lucky guy. <laughs> oh, no, come on now, honey. Don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> Is something the matter? Ah, uh, not anymore, no. You know, it is a shame to let a perfectly good motel room go to waste. You took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, Elise? Yeah? Mind if I ask you something? Sure, Mel. You and Futterman, you never got to the, the pants-off stage with him, did you? Not quite. Yes! Well, what are you waiting for? Last one in the shower was a rotten egg. <laughs> well, Mel, this is this is such good work you've done, you've done today. I really feel like we are uh, breaking ground, covering... Here's the thing. Every time we break ground, I think we're going to put up a building. And we just, it gets lost in escrow or something. We never quite get it made. Yeah, because I, I, I don't, I think it's... The work of therapy is never straight ahead. It's not linear. Yeah. yeah. It, it's one step forward, two steps back. I think that's what I miss. I miss that, that feeling of story about one thing follows the other, you know? I want, I want a resolution. I want redemption. I want all those things that we want to see when we go to the movies. And it's just not happening in my life. This is I... not a movie. This is, <sighs> this is therapy. This is life. Life is not... Uh can't be packaged and sold and shown to millions of people worldwide with merchandising. Uh, I right. really wish it could, you know. Yeah. I really wish it could. <sighs> We'd all be rich. It's an interesting yeah. idea, but I don't think it would work. You know what What did happen, though? The shoe dropped. I, I, I faced Futterman, the worst happened, and I didn't die. You know what I mean? That's, that's huge. That is so big, Mel. I that that is as big as Futterman's cock. Wow. I'm sorry. No, that that is that is enormous. That really is wonderful. And if if I was a behavioral therapist, yeah, which I'm not, yeah, I would say that you're ready to move on to stage two. But not being a behavioral psychiatrist, you. I say you're doing great on stage one. Uh huh. All right. So we're still breaking ground. No building yet. Well, I'm going to put up a big sign that says under construction, okay? And that way, uh, you know, no one will get locked in overnight, all right? Just don't apologize to people for being under construction. Okay. All right. Because all right. we all are. All right. Well, thanks. Each and every one of us is a... I got to go. I got to go. And I think once you grasp that concept, you can live with yourself with peace, with serenity, you won't expect things from yourself that are unreasonable. You won't expect things from other people that are unreasonable. Mel? Hello? Hello?